Carlo Coretta was one of our renowned spiritual writers of our time. He was a hermit in a desert, and he, one of his famous books was Letters from the Desert itself. And in that particular book, he suggests that we learn to wait, we who are people who have such busy lives. He suggests that we be patient. We learn to wait for each other. We learn to wait for love. We learn to wait for happiness. And yes, we learn to wait for God. And as I already said in my introduction, we're not good at that. We Americans are not good at waiting. I certainly am not good at standing in line and waiting for people to get their business done. I want to get in and I want to get out. As we saw on the uh, Good Friday, on Black Friday, uh, not such good people in waiting on you. Unless you happen to like standing in line for two hours waiting for a cash register. Um, that being said, there's a, another story that we know well a story about what it is to be, to wait properly. And there's a child who is anxious to watch a butterfly emerge from its cocoon. Child is fascinated, by the, but also impatient as this cocoon takes a while for this butterfly to emerge. Eventually, the child grows impatient and then takes a candle to heat the cocoon, albeit very gentle. Well, the experiment works, of course, but there's a mistake in not waiting. The butterfly does indeed emerge more quickly. But because the natural process has been violated, the butterfly is born with wings to weak to fly. Prematurely, it has come forward and come forth, and indeed, the, child, the, the butterfly is, is misformed, or malformed. The young girl, or the young child in this case, begins to understand immediately what has done wrong, Patience and irreverence interferes with that process. In essence, the package was open too soon. Christmas packages were open too soon. And so some things, of course, many things, did not be rushed. There hasn't been enough advent in this case. And so you and I are called to experience advent, to allow the waiting, the anticipation, and things to be born in proper time and in proper order. Can't open our Christmas gifts too soon. And indeed, God has taken his time with us. God took his time in coming into the world. And God understood that for the Messiah to be born in time, there has to be a proper preparation. And so the Hebrew people waited for thousands of years and hoped in expectation that the Messiah, the Christ, would be born. And so we, too, are called to wait, to allow for the gestation of God to enter into our hearts and into our lives, so that when he does come, we are ready with expected joy and expected hope and great love. As I've already said, God is never in a hurry. And so he allows us time to be watchful. He allows us time to wait. He allows for us time to prepare. And I'm not talking about just the four weeks before Christmas. The good news is that God doesn't hurry us. The good news is that He Lord only allows us a sufficient amount of time, or He allows us all a sufficient amount of time to come to a greater understanding of God, to come to a greater love of God, to come to a greater hope in his salvation for us. Again, we are called to be patient, and we are called to wait, to be vigilant, and to be ready when it comes. Of course, there's always that warning that strikes us a little bit odd, or maybe puts us off, off balance just a little bit, when he says, be ready and be watchful. For you do not know the time, nor the hour. As I've already said, though, 
God is good, and the good news is that God always gives us sufficient time for us to grow into this life and to this love. If there's a warning from the church during these four weeks of Advent, is that you can't have a feast without a mass. The preparation time is necessary in order for joy, life, and love to be full blown. Remember, we always enjoy what we work for. We always enjoy more what we've anticipated. We always seem to like the anticipation and the preparation as much as the day itself. And so let us prepare well for the coming of Christ. Let us be ready and vigilant for the Lord Jesus will come to us and his life will be born into us if we make ready the way. As Carl Grado said so poignantly in his book, we must learn to wait. We must learn to wait for God, for his love, and yes, even for Christmas, today and forever.